Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I just heard something on uh, the news, uh, cable news, that uh, this guy was saying that the God of the Bible is the devil. And he began to cite a lot of scriptures that indicated where God was uh, supposedly, according to scriptures, seeing that people were killed. Probably when the Red Sea, probably was a, a time when God killed people. Another time when he killed people was probably in the flood. And probably so many times that people were just dying. And he was saying that God was a devil. Well, you know, we have identified that the devil being evil, uh, doing stuff that uh, causes pain and suffering to others without any justification except glorification of self. Of self. Uh, but I was thinking about these people who, try, who said that, who turned around and made God in man's image, uh, who turned around and made God white, uh, all of a sudden want to say that the God of the Bible is the devil because of all this death that was going on, that was going on. And um, what really got get me about that is that I'm a guy who does a lot of writing. And I've done it for years. And any writer knows that when you sit at the desk and you start writing or on the computer, they're gonna, you're going to have to be scrapping a lot of stuff, throwing it in the trash can. Why? Because it does not meet your expectation. You keep trashing it. You keep trashing it until you get what you want. And then you keep it. Uh, and usually people do that when in regards to everything that they're doing. Whatever they're trying to do, they keep trying to get it right. Make sure you get it right, perfect it so it'll be, and all the stuff that's not right, you keep discarding it. And since God made man, man didn't make God. And if God made man, and man is always doing all this evil stuff around here, I think that God got a right to do anything God wants to do with man. And I'm not going to try to judge God by what God does to man. In fact, <laughs> looks like he's kind of slow <laughs> with all the sin that man is in. And I'm then you go start talking about the God of the Bible. I now I won't even worry myself about the God of the Bible. What I'm worried myself about is how we treat one another today. How we treat one another today. Are we making sure that we each of us are having those things met that will give us our greatest desire? Are we doing that? Or are we in pursuit of our own causing as much pain to others as possible? Now, I can guarantee you, if you're trying to get your own thing together and causing me pain, you from the pit of hell. I don't care where you say you come from. If you're trying to get your thing together and you're causing me pain, you from the pit of hell. And if I'm trying to get my thing together and I'm trying to cause you pain, I'm from the pit of hell. So I'm saying the only thing we can do is get it together. So we're going to communicate together, knowing that you are important. And I am important, knowing that we must respect one another. And if we can't do that, why worry about the God of the Bible? Why worry about who's killing who and who's the devil and all that kind of stuff? The devil in this relationship on this earth is you or I, or God is you or I, using the spirit of God or the spirit of Satan. So we can leave, let's get, let's get real. You know, we don't need another this conversation talking about who, who, who is what. Because you know what we say about that. I'm going to leave it there because it was about to open up another bag of beans. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus saying goodbye.